I'm back in the hut today on this beautiful Hawke's Bay day and it's Easter weekend and I'm ready to uh, start on the roof a bit today. So I've been thinking about the roof and I've thought that flax will be my best option and I've been thinking about ways to do it and I think I might have found a good way to do it so I'll be experimenting with that today and hopefully that'll go to plan. Also it's been raining a bit here uh, over the last week so the rivers come up just a little bit I'll actually come and show you but not enough to affect the hut thankfully uh, as you can see it right here so it's only come up a little bit but that's alright hopefully it's cleared out some of the algae and Unfortunately, uh, I haven't been able to bring some friends down on this Easter weekend because uh, I've had a leg injury which has prevented me from coming down the last couple of days. Uh, I couldn't bend my leg, so that's obviously inconvenient. Uh, now it's alright though, so I've come down today and I'm starting on the roof. Hopefully in two weeks time, maybe three weeks time, when we have our school holidays, I'll be able to come down a lot more often get more videos out and start on the walls and I'll be mixing mud and straw and uh, finding a way to do it for that because I've been researching on the internet to find out ways to do it and I think uh, straw and mud will be a good way to do the walls so I can't wait until then but for now let's get on with the roof so basically what the plan is um, for the roof I'm gonna be putting a middle length going there just like how that one and that one go up to the top I put a middle one there and then I want to put loads of horizontal ones going straight across like that all the way up it and I want them to be fairly small ones a bit like this about that length or width and then I want to put them really close to each other um, all up the length of the A-frame so that when I get flax I can uh, attach it all together and put it through the gaps in between each stick um, and then hopefully if I get enough of it it'll all come down and then provide a good roof um, so that's what I want to do hopefully it'll work good so I'll have a go with it now so here's a bit of flax, as you can see it's got really wide leaves and they're extremely fibrous. So basically there's a few plants around here but there's heaps up the path a bit so I basically have an unlimited supply. And what you do is you just take the uh, outside leaves, what they call the grandparent leaves, uh, to stop the slight, so that you're not taking the inside ones which are in there, uh, so that you don't destroy the plant. And so I'm just going to cut this on a diagonal so that it doesn't rot and then I'll take it back and I'll test it out. On a quick side note, this is what I use to hold my camera, which is my phone, uh, steady while I'm taking a few of the shots. So I just put it in the ground and uh, I put my phone down the split here and that holds it steady. I should probably upgrade to a tripod but that'll come in good time. So this is, this is the shot from uh the position I just showed you from the tripod thing, the stick, I mean. So here's my flax that I've just got, and I want to split it down the middle. So that it doesn't have this uh, sort of ridge. As you can see. And then I could either have it like that, or I could split it all the way down the middle and just using this as an example basically what I want to be doing is having the flax um, wedged up between two of them like that and that'll be more or less on the same angle as the roof and then that'll be going right down and it'll be hopefully held in place and then I could perhaps even put little pins in it and the flax here and here so that when you pull it it won't come off straight away and if I pile heaps and heaps of these on top of the roof, I'm sure that'll hold it, uh, hold out rain 
make it a lot more waterproof and that should look good as well. So it's a plan. Um, hopefully it goes to, goes to plan. Hopefully it works out. Before I can start cutting flax and putting it on the roof, I actually need to somehow attach long pieces of wood all the way across it uh, from saplings and I need to go over and collect some of them now. Just seen some ducks floating down the river. Very nice. So coming from where my hut is in there and then going up the river just a little bit, right in the middle of the screen there, that is where the saplings are. So I'm going over there now, I'm going to be collecting them and then cutting them up into equal lengths and putting them onto the top of my roof. So I found a dog. Don't know whose dog it is. Um, but I'm almost at the site where I get the saplings from. Also just saw some fish in here. Probably about five or six trout. So I could consider fishing one day with my own fishing hood. Um, I'd have to find out how to do that though. But that would be a cool experiment one day. In here you can see there are just saplings everywhere. And they're so good for uh, building my heart. I've got eight pretty nicely sized pieces here that I've just gotten. So I'll take them all back and I'll use the bigger one for the uh, midway point as a support. And I'll start chopping them up into uh, reasonable sizes. Now I'm cutting off the ends of these side posts. And I'm going to cut off all of them so that when the roof, when I'm making the roof, um, they won't be in the way and I can get on with it. So I've measured the length of this stick up to that cutting right there from the very end. And this is the length that I need uh, for the uh, roof, the ones that are going to be the supports. And I'm going to chop these lengths off this biggest piece that I got and then somehow attach them to the roof. I'm still not sure how I'm going to actually attach all these to the roof. I might end up having to make loads and loads of flax rope and then tying it on. Um, I'll see what happens anyway. So this is what I've just done, um, I've cut grooves out of here, just like that, so that it'll sit properly and um, it'll be flush and secure so that's not tied on by anything, not even at the top, um, so that can sit there pretty nicely. I've done that to the other side as well, over there, and basically what I need to do is make some more um, flax rope so that I can tie it together up here and what's going to happen is um, they're going to be underneath this big post instead of over top of it like that so it'll be down here just like how these ones here have been and I'll need to make some more flax rope to do that so to make this flax rope I'm going to be using this flax that I cut before that I used to test the roof out. Um, I'm going to be cutting it into lots of little strips and then showing you how I weave the rope together. So here we go. So basically I get about six strips, about like that, if you can see, and then I tie a knot at the end. So after you've got your strips out like that, I've got six of them here, I line them up about evenly here at the ends, and it's a good practice to do this, especially with flax, uh, to make sure it's all um, flexible. You can either twist it like that quite a bit, or you could just wrap it around your finger. That'll loosen it up so it's easier to twist when you're trying to weave it together. And then 
you need to tie a knot in the end. So just a simple knot like that, one that will hold it together. And then with these other six strands, you take three of them on that side and the other three on this side. Try and even them out as well, so if one of them seems to be a little bit bigger on this side, then you swap it to the other side, um, so that they're evenly distributed, so that each uh, side of them has an uh, even sort of twistability. And this is what you do. So with the top end, you twist it away from you, like that. Then with this finger here, middle finger on your right hand, you bring that one, the other um, half of it around, and twist the whole thing around like that. And then you do it again with the top one, which was the bottom one. So twist away from you, take it around, twist again. If you just do that a few times, you'll get faster at it. And then you'll be able to really get going. And I like to always move this hand up a bit so that I can hold it real tight so it doesn't unravel itself. And basically through doing this probably hundreds of times just about, you can get a really long rope that looks like that. And that's how you make it. So I'm just going to continue on with this now. Now when you start to get a bit short on the end, um, these ones don't get towards the end. These ones are still a little bit longer so I can still have a bit longer to go with them. But that's when you have a, another strip or another couple strips and you simply just put it in between them on the side that needs it and then do a few more twists holding it um, secure so it stays in there maybe do about six or seven twists and then it'll be staying in there and now it's stayed in there it's nice and secure and I can put another piece in so the more you do this the longer the rope can be and the more strength it has the more it has in there now this flax that I use only really grows in New Zealand where I live so if you live in America or Canada or any other country uh, and you don't have like flax like this then you can use any type of grass really that grows long or the fronds of a palm tree basically any fibrous leaf that sort of resembles this flax because flax is native to New Zealand so it's a great plant to be using here so now that I've come to the end of the flax and I've got a good three maybe four feet of rope um, I just tie it off again in a simple knot like at the start so I do a little bit about to there and then I like to just loop it over and make sure it all comes back under so it's like you're tying a knot in the actual twisted part of the rope but it's just at the end so that when you pull it it pulls nice and strong and it stops the uh, rope here from untwisting itself and then you can cut off this end part because you don't need it. So now let's tie it onto the roof. I have no idea what kind of knot I did, but it seems to hold it in place, so I think it'll be alright. Um, the bottoms of here, along with here, they are not connected, well they are, they're not tied on with anything, they're just sitting on the uh, mounts that I cut out for them, so they'll be fine. Um, you could even use, like, you don't have to use flax for a rope, you could even use tree bark, grass, basically any other sort of fibrous material that comes from nature. 
and down here this bamboo that I've got left over has no cracks in it and it's basically um, hollow as well so this part of, this one here especially I'm gonna make into a bucket so I'll put a hole at one end and then the other end will just be left and then I'll be able to use it for uh, transporting water from the river up to here so that when I'm uh, making my mud I can use the water from there um, and that'll be maybe three, three weeks I hope so thanks for watching